Hello. Good morning. Spliced. Thank you for the resub. Hello. Also, Adrian, you're kidding me looking for someone to raid like one minute ago? <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. That's okay. Okay, the music is kind of loud. I mean, I already turned it down, but like... Okay, this song is not as loud. <laughs> that's okay, I'm sure that they enjoyed the raid. Whoever you ended up reading. Welcome to Friday. Yes, Friday. You were jamming? It's a good song. It is a good song. Hey, Black Tithex, welcome back. How's the project going? This one is going pretty well. Um, my app? My app is going. It's, it's, it's something. <laughs> but this one, the bot is not so bad. Today, the plan is, first of all, um, right now there's not a lot of options for stuff to find. <laughs> so, I kind of want to add some stuff, add some stuff for the different categories. And the other thing I want to do is start figuring out a way to keep track of what users have found. So the idea is um, text files. I'm thinking I have a folder and each user who uses the shiny command will generate their own file with their username and then that file will contain all of the items they have. Um, I don't know, because the problem is that you can get duplicates. So I need to keep track of the number of times that they've found one specific thing, which could be tricky. Um, I'm sure there's a way to do that easily. My first thought is like comma separated. I don't know, space separated maybe? Yeah. Uh, this was just me figuring out rarity levels. Um, I don't know where to start. <laughs> well, let me think. So this is kind of poorly named. It's named to get item rarity, but it actually returns the item. It should really be called get get like get rarity and item. Kind of. So get rarity and item because there's this get item. which is dependent on the array that it's coming from. Hmm. I might, okay, here's an idea. Cause like, I'm going to need the user. I'm going to need this. So I could either pass that in or I could just pass in the event. I don't know what the best way to do this is. Also. I thought about this the other day. I kind of wanted to do this. How's it going? Um, 
Okay. I think my first idea is pass in the event. Channel message event. Because then I can say, so if the number is less than 50, Hmm. Well. I don't know how to do this, actually. Hey! Freedom Dow, welcome back. Good morning. Yes, good morning, everybody. Or good evening, if depending on the time zone you're in. But regardless, I hope everyone is having a good day so far. I feel like the problem is that I could do this a few different ways and all of them would technically work. Got two tests done, two tests to get done today. Last bit of my final project. Man, I'm so jealous. <laughs> I have so much stuff to do. Today's gonna be really busy for me actually. I have two events that I'm essentially hosting for different organizations, one right after the other after my classes. So, this is going to be the most chill part of my day. <laughs> coding events? Um, kind of. One is definitely a coding event. The other one is more of a... Um, I guess I would call it a general interest meeting for the organization. And the organization is like, Coding adjacent. <laughs> deadline coming. Yes. Nothing nothing will give you motivation like a deadline. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I have an idea. So if I have a file, Shari makes art. Dot txt. Actually, it doesn't really need to be dot txt. It could just be Shari makes art. So that's the file name. And then if I, I don't want to do multiple objects. Hey, Tuna, welcome back. How was your sleep? Actually, did you sleep? I've... My memory might be off. I have a memory of you saying that you were going to sleep because of your back, but that might have been a different stream that I'm merging <laughs> into my head. Um, I could do this. I could do like three space null no pointer. I think I capitalized it. Null no pointer exception. And I can do like two semicolon. So those are the common items. And then I think the only rare item right now. Oh no, there's two. Game rubber duck game by classic. So the idea is number of t number of times this thing has been found, name of the thing, new line to separate rarity categories maybe. Had a long siesta, nice. It was really hard for me to wake up this morning. But once I got up, like I'm pretty up right now. Check out my phone is doing. I'm installing the Android update and it's taking forever. What's in the... Coffee is the epic category, right? I don't know if this works though. The idea of getting a high GPA is foreign to all my instructors. That's concerning. What? 
<laughs> yeah, am I really that insane for wanting a good GPA? I don't think so. <laughs> It's so weird, like, it's... The thing with, like, GPA, I feel like the college that I go to, half the professors, like, just pass everybody who comes into their class. Like, you can get, like, a 30 and your average will be curved up. Tired beaver. Here to, s here to sell rust, the best and only programming language. You can try. I don't know if it will work. Um, and the other half of my professors are like, I never give out A's. I'm going to take your GPA on purpose. Like, still storing records on text files. Explore with something like SQLite. That's the other thing, is that I could use text files, or I could try to incorporate a database. I have very little database experience, though. I'm taking a database class, but it's all theory and no using. I mean... Are there any, like... This is for JDBC. I don't know. I might look good on a resume. That's true. <laughs> the only GPA is general purpose allocator. Nice. No, a, da a database is like, it could be really good. I just don't have any idea how to go about doing that. Like, oh yeah. I mean, because it really wouldn't need to be, it does not need to be super intense. Well, let's look at SQL Lite. Update, updated to do that later. That's true. That is very true. Just out of curiosity, though. Hmm. This sounds like something I would do stream <laughs> just to like learn because I'd, I'd have to install it and like <laughs> uh yeah I mean like uh oh this is Okay, they have, they have Linux. Okay, okay. You might like H2 if you're in Java. Setting up the SQL server locally, yeah. Um, H2. Okay. Small footprint. Hmm. Platform independent zip. Hey, it's working squiggly. Hello, how's it going? Yeah, I need containers. 
this is definitely something to look into. But I think for now I'm just going to like text files. <laughs> I'll write it down. Though. Hey, Taylor the Great. I totally almost read it as Taylor. Uh, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. SQLite, uh, H2 database. Okay. TGIF. I agree. <laughs> okay, well, let's just assume that this is the layout. I hate working with files, though. <laughs> Can I... Alright. Um... Unfortunately, ugh. well, what I could do is when the so when this is triggered, I could do this. I could initialize reader here, reader equals. New buffered reader. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Grandma's theme. This is such a sad song, kind of. Uh, Narfmeister. <laughs> nice. Depending on the use case, SQLite is an option with JDBC. True, true, true. That's what I was kind of looking at. It was kind of like you don't need, you don't need anything else. No server. It should be doable. And then this can just take a file name. Will 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 fire will file reader create a file if it doesn't exist? Because really don't. Alright. Oh no, it totally won't because it will give a file not found exception. Mm -hmm. don't, don't apologize for being clueless. Uh, I am working on a Twitch bot. <laughs> that is what the title says, but it's okay. Um, See, it's, I will admit this is one thing that Python has right, is that like when you're reading and working with files in Python, it's very easy to just say like, write to this file, and if the file doesn't already exist, just create it. Like, it's also gonna be, it's, it would be, ugh, where do I wanna put this? Okay. What if? Where does your bot run in production? On my machine. <laughs> hey! Oh my god. The Dev Dad, thank you for the uh, 100 bits. I really appreciate it. Happy Friday. Java is awesome. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Yes. I'm so glad it's Friday. Um. So this is resources slash users. I think we'll do this. <laughs> Immediately somebody's like, I will tell you otherwise. 
Where's the person who is in here is like, I'm here to sell Rust. Rust is the best programming language. Check out some free AWS instances. Yeah, so I totally will when it's like closer to being done. As long as I'm like still changing it very frequently, I think I'm just gonna run locally. But yeah, I could definitely look into AWS. Another good thing to put on my resume. Um, what was I looking up? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I can think of at least one way to do this, but there's probably a better way. Mm. Hmm. So they're saying I can do this. Tech girl, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Curious what made you choose Java for a hobby project? Surely you wouldn't do that voluntarily. Well, I did. <laughs> um, what made me choose it? It's the language I have the most experience in because it is um, it is the language that my school uses to teach. Narfmeister, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Uh, also, UX. Just try to keep it in English. Um, I can't mod, but I can't read. Render is also super simple. Free place to host smaller apps. <laughs> yeah, ironically, Java does does use a lot of uh, a lot of memory. <laughs> thank you, though. I'll write that down in my list of stuff to check out. So, so much stuff. <laughs> Use what works for you. Thank you. I like you. <laughs> I like you, Mama Rolf. You're, you're good. So there's this thing. So I can do... Right. What's the exception? IO exception. to start the day happy friday have a great stream thank you i appreciate you stopping in thank you for the 100 bits that's really kind of you um hope you have a wonderful day and yes enjoy your friday as well it is it is a good good time for it to be friday right wait this returns something oh it's just a boolean oh So it returns false if the name already existed. Wait, so you're telling me that I, I don't even have to do... So why do I even have to check? To, I don't really need to check if it exists then, because it kind of doesn't. Whatever. Hello, early stream. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to end my Friday soon. Oh wow, it's late for you. Saturday in a couple of hours? 
Jeez. It will error if it exists. It, it says that it just returns false if it already exists. It can still have a, it can still throw an exception, but what is this song? <laughs> Um, I don't have a logger anymore, do I? Sadly, no. I should probably make one. Add log back. Mm-hmm. Kotlin or Java? Is that a question of like which one is this or which one is better? <laughs> yes. <laughs> um this is Java. I do also use Kotlin sometimes. Hey! And end dev. Thank you for the follow, I appreciate it. Uh, I don't remember. I don't remember how to make a log back logger. I think it's just logger. I think it's this. Really? That's sad. Uh, I guess I can just... Mm. Oh, right, right, right. You need to do logger factory. Wait, no. It does not need to be, it does not need to be, like, it does not need a context and stuff. Just give me, give me a simple thing. Yo, Java 8. Kotlin can be a gateway for Java. Um, I feel like it's mostly the other way around. <laughs> but also, welcome, Sleepy Teal Coder. Good to have you back. Nice. <laughs> because they couldn't see sharp. Um. Dang. What? Okay, change my mind. It's gonna get lost in the sea of stuff anyway. What are we doing this, boys? <laughs> Make sure you're using the right logger class. Yeah, that's, that's definitely what the problem is. I'm just lazy. Oof. Hey! Oh my goodness! SL4J was the right one? Okay, wait, let me try it. Also, welcome readers! Overgrown Carrot, welcome in. <laughs> Hackers Unite! Welcome to the stream. How was, how was your stream, Overgrown Carrot? Um, I hope everyone's normal. I am working on uh, a Twitch chatbot today, so bot is active, there are some commands, and I am working on a few more.
but this is interface. The interesting thing is that I had the logger working at some point. I don't remember how I did it though. Yeah. I mean, the, the dependency is definitely there. stuff. Hmm. Sorry, I'm looking at something off screen. That's like how to set up log back. <laughs> yeah. So if I actually, okay. Is this an interface? Oh wait, no. Wait, what? Oh my god, I hate everything. Don't need this. So you're telling me This just needs to be this. Oh my god, I hate everything. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I was covering up chat. So that's why I wasn't seeing your message. <laughs> but thank you. Also, code name Tribs. Thank you for the follow, I appreciate it. So. Awesome. reader and we have error handling <laughs> some really bad error handling <laughs> okay so and it should create the file if it doesn't already exist now what do I want to do Move logger out of catch. Yeah, it's probably you're probably right. Factory into a singleton and pass it around. That's true. Because 
there's really no reason to make more than one. It's like if I ever have to log something in any other class, usually add it to the class. So it prefixes the log with the class name. Add it to base command. Oh, my, that's genius. Why didn't I take that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You are right. Actually, I can see this. Still works. Yes, this is how you are intended to, to, to use inheritance. Uh, okay. I'm actually okay with it. If I ever have to make a different one that's not for a command, I'm okay with that. Okay. Now is the awful part. So when somebody Yeah. So when somebody calls the shiny command, they get some item and they get the rarity. Ugh. That's gonna suck for stuff that's more than one word. So, oh, but I do need, I do need the rarity. thinking, do I want to put the enum? Do I, first of all, do I need the enum? Second, if I do, should I put it in this class or should I make it its own? Because the problem is that I can think of at least one additional command that I want that's going to need to read from the inventory files. Will it need enums though? I don't think so. I can always move it. I could you do the dictionary instead? Oh, that's so much smarter. That is way smarter. And then I wouldn't even have to deal with, well. Hmm. Yeah, throw a hash map at the problem and call it a day. Also, welcome Kid Billy. How's it going? The problem with the hash map is that how how store that 
If not one, then try two. <laughs> Hash maps are incredible tools. But like... I need data persistence though. Like, I, I could make a hash map, but I would need a hash map for every user. But then I also need that data to persist. Never get to catch a stream anymore, I want to stop by, see what you work on. Thank you! Yeah, we, we, getting, we getting the bot up and running. Uh, yeah, hash map is great, but I would need to convert it into a text file to store anyway, so I might as well just work with the text file. Maybe. Eventually, I'm just going. I'm going to end up using. <laughs> I'm going to use a database anyway. So all, any and all of this is pointless anyway. Okay, let's do some pseudocode. So, let's just assume for a second that I have some enum called rarity. So, read lines until until like the block is reached then mm -hmm. then read lines until either the item is found and then we would increment item count or end of block is reached and then we would add a new line for new item Is that Final Fantasy VII music? It might be. I don't know. It's from Black Materia. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yes. There you go. Yes, it is. There's um. There's quite a few songs from Black Materia in the playlist. I hate- this is the only thing that I don't like about IntelliJ. I hate this. <laughs> like, it makes it so drawn out. to Neo of them. <laughs> this was really funny. File settings code vision remove usage. Oh. wants to show me appearance uh, toolbars system files editor code editing Google said, how could it lie to me? 
I'm sure it's in here somewhere. Reader mode. Hey! Thank you for the follow 100 acres, I appreciate it. Um, code vision hints. Oh wait, that's... But this is for reader mode. Code vision. Usages. Apply. Nice. <laughs> Superstition. Okay. And then, look at that! It looks so much better. <laughs> okay. Okay. So. Let's think. I need to... Okay. So the thing that's- the thing that's denoting different rarities is blank- is blank new lines. So... Ugh. I just realized something. What if, what if they don't have any of those yet? Because like, think about this, think about this, right? You, you fa your first item is not common. How does it know? Ugh. I didn't think about that. I'll be honest. I mean, I could do this. I don't like this idea. But but the idea exists. Maybe this is easier. Then I actually don't need an enum because it's just a string. I don't know. I don't like it. Hmm. Wow. That's intense. Yes. So many people are here. So many cool people are here. We have Adrian. We have Kid Billy. We got Greg. <laughs> this for now. <laughs> what technically is this? It's just a string, right? String equals one. Oh my god. 
can't type to save my life. You don't want item to be its own class, rather than adding item and rarity. Also, Otso, thank you for the follow, I appreciate it. Item value rather than string item, string rarity. I could. I don't think it's worth it. Eating couscous and enjoying the Friday. Very nice. I don't know. I don't think it's worth having item as a class because I'm not really using it for anything else. And it's like... I'm not doing anything with item other than printing it. Still new to coding, just trying to understand what you see. I'm still new to coding too. Um, I'm fully open to people backseating. I just, I don't know. I also tend to be kind of lazy. I met so many people who've never had couscous. Hmm. Yeah, uh, Kangus, there is a, uh, there is new UI. Also, apparently I have an update, a plugins update. But if you go to new UI, you can enable it. It is very nice. Also, uh, Puni Arya, hopefully I said your name correctly. Um, thank you for the follow. I really appreciate that. The other thing I'm realizing is right <laughs> thank you coding master in disguise format you're working on is cool and all please excuse me for asking how will you insert new items that's what i'm trying to figure out <laughs> adrian oh thank you for the posture check um i'm trying to figure that out too i don't really know and to hydrate I don't know y'all. I'm, I'm hating the text files more and more every minute. <laughs> you know what I should look at? Um, data whoa so is this this is every user that has ever fished in Bad Cops stream. Interesting. So, hmm. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, starting with C Sharp will get you familiar with fundamental concepts. Yeah, the fundamental principles are, are pretty much the same across languages, so. To some extent, it doesn't matter. Does anybody know if Bad Cop has a command that tells you everything that you've ever fished? And how that works? Ooh. 
like, does Sarah have a repo for the bot? That's a Discord bot. Kotlin. <laughs> what was the Discord bot in? JavaScript. Hmm. Mm -hmm. High level concepts are the same for sure. That's true. That's true. Like, yeah, Python does take care of garbage collection and typing. Um. Java takes care of garbage collection. How many repos are there? <laughs> Did you eat five fruits and vegetables today? Well, it's 8.53 AM, so I have not. <laughs> Ugh. I don't think this is gonna help me. Um. Hmm. Back wife told me to fold laundry. And now my back hurts. That sucks. Also, geez. That sun do be blinding. <laughs> Becoming, it's becoming more complicated than I wanted. Right, because this is, it's not even within scope. So I have to do it in here. Hmm. <laughs> Gotta go have fun. Thank you for stopping by, Kid Billy. I appreciate it. Uh, you're going to stream, right? I shall probably- I shall pr most likely rage you. <laughs> so if new file... Ugh. Right, because... Hmm. See you soon. Outputting all their inventory into a text file rather than a database. Yes. Yes, I am. Because I'm also going to need a file writer if I want to do stuff. Gamer, welcome. Some Java. Finally. How does having a buffered reader and buffer and a file writer open at the same time with the same file work? Can you do that? I have a feeling that it's gonna not work. Also, why am, I, why am I capitalizing stuff? I should just not. Hmm. Var writer equals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I can. It's... I mean, like, technically it wants me to, to use the, the try-catch thing. File path seems to be a directory path. Um, it's this and then plus the user's username for the file. Um, which I hope works. It, I, I think it will, but I'm not even entirely sure. Interesting. If file, if not file dot exists, file dot create new file. So I actually had that to begin with. Um, this automatically creates a new empty file if and only if a file with this name does not yet exist. So this create new file method actually checks to see if the file exists. So I don't see why there would be a reason to do file.exists and then create new file because create new file will do file.exists. Uh, you know, it's all good. Um, I'm, I'm explaining my reasoning because if I'm wrong, somebody will correct me. <laughs> um, yeah, I, this I can do, it's like what? Right, this is the thing. Hey, more hydrate. Hmm. Hmm. And a posture check. You guys are keeping me so healthy. <laughs> I lose the posture check so quickly. It's like really sad. <laughs> Um, I mean, I can do this. What else is there besides read the whole line? What does read give you? Reads a single character. Not what I want. <laughs> Good coder. Bad posture. Can I, is there any way to read until the next space? Yeah, read, read line is a thing, but it's only terminated by a new line. What if I, what if I want, I mean, I, I could solve that by doing this. This, this might be easier. I, we could do that. So read line until, so while, it's not equal to the item and And split on space. Yeah, that's true. I could definitely do that. But then writing is gonna be difficult, right? Like, hmm. Ironically, this is something where awk would be really useful. <laughs> 
Uh, time to get the JSON parser. <laughs> this will be. Uh, it's like it's doable. I just feel like I'm doing it super poorly. Okay. What if I. What if I read line and split on string? Hmm. Hey, Mono! Welcome in. Yeah, time for some some Java files. <laughs> uh Oh, does this have to be a string? So this gives me a string array. Right. So, hmm. Hey, I like, uh, I like street. Welcome in. How's it going? So, I feel like I say that so often. I think like half of my stream is just me saying so. And back cracking. I usually only crack my back like once per stream. It's not that bad. Let's let's be real. It's only like once. Actually, well, does this initialize? Can I do this? Oh, right. I'm stupid. Um, item array. <laughs> also, is my phone finally? Done updating? Yeah, restart, please. Okay. Which framework are you using? Um, I don't- I don't think I'm using a framework. I'm just using- oh, actually, yes I am. Sorry. Um, Twitch 4J. Twitch, the number 4, and then J. Don't worry, we all have our stupid moments. <laughs> Thank you. I feel like I have them more than others. That- that name's awful. So my idea here is this is like an item category. So when it splits into the array, it won't have a number associated with it, which means it will be like a delimiter, D delim del delineate, I don't know. Unintentionally breaking a pin off a dev board? How dare you? Absolute monstrosity. An awful person. <laughs> hmm. I'm a monster. We all are. So I'm thinking. Sorry for the yawn. I'm a little sleepy. Um, I think I'm a little more sleepy than that, but it's fine. <laughs> oh, Adrian, with the 100%. Holy crap! <laughs> and it's so sad because I, it, it won't be saved. <laughs> 
<laughs> I took a picture. <laughs> 13. 13 is my favorite number. Nice. <laughs> Mono is like, what the? Yeah, shiny, shiny command is a little different now. Um. Hmm. I don't know. So the old command still exists. It's just that it's a nightbot command, and nightbot is disabled right now. Also, Pixel Smither, thank you for the follow. I really appreciate it. And homeless dev. <laughs> oh, oh no. Thanks for the follow. Uh, is this the semicolon from Adrian's stream? Maybe. This feels kind of redundant, but if item array dot length greater than one. Ugh. How do I do this? How do I write? So what you're saying is, the command that didn't work has been benched. The command that had really, really unlikely odds has been benched. <laughs> Am I gonna dress up for Halloween? I don't think I'm gonna dress up for Halloween. Hmm. All right, Java. Uh. How does mm, read and write to a file simultaneously? Files is gross. Oh, the hug command didn't work. <laughs> Not even for stream. What day of the week is Halloween? Am I gonna be streaming on Halloween? Also, I just realized today is, is Friday the 13th. I agree, Java Files girl. So, so here's the thing that I'm, I'm just now discovering. Halloween is on a Tuesday. I will not be streaming on Halloween. You, you, you can read and write to the same file at the same time, I think, but they're not going to share the same pointer because they are two different objects. So like, I'm using buffered reader and reading lines in the file, but the file writer is still at the very beginning of the file because I haven't done anything. Um, you can use, there's random access file in Java, but it, unless you are replacing some number of characters with the exact same number of characters, you basically have to rewrite the whole file. And it's like, it's kind of annoying. Why are using Java so much easier to not use anything ever and inherit a million dollars <laughs> and open a puppy daycare? I did finally implement that. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with Java. I should just be using a database for this instead of text files. So I have an idea. How about this? 
until I get a database, what if I just add to, what if I just don't read the file at all? If only there was a common way to save object structures as plain text. If only, if, if only. Also, uh, Zebro, how do you say your name? Is it Ziver? Zero? Zebro? Zybro? Thank you for the follow, I appreciate it. Said it right. Whose data is the uh, zero? Okay, thank you. Like a goblin name. Save to in a memory store and just never restart. <laughs> well, then I could use a hash map. And then I would save everything in a hash map or a dictionary, and I would just never restart the program. <laughs> what kind of data? I mean, it's it's all just plain text. But I have an idea. <laughs> then I don't even need this. And I can literally just do writer dot append uh, item. Oh, whatever. Done. <laughs> what do we think? <laughs> Write once, run forever, no updates. Okay. So... Interesting. Hey, GK Piccolo. Pick nope, Piccoli. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Is there no append line thing? Write line? I think so. It's it's writer dot append. Oh, you mean that will automatically add a new line at the end? I don't think so. I think it's just. I think that's that's just how you do it. This is the way. <laughs> nice. Hey, hug from Brazil. Thank you. So many people from Brazil. Um, I forget how many. Was it yesterday that there was a ton of people from Brazil, or was it? It might have been Wednesday. I think it was Wednesday. But that's really that's really cool. Are you thinking? SQ SQL light. How do you okay, is it pronounced SQL light or is it just SQ light? Because that's technically how it's spelled. Um some people have given me some suggestions. SQL light, H2, um, those are the only database suggestions. Oh, SQL light. Oh I see. Yo, from Hong Kong? That's cool. That's cool. Thank you for the follow as well. I like street. Um. And then... I should also do... 
Add to inventory item. Right. Can I just... Oh wait, that's the wrong syntax. Exception. Uh... Oh, well, I'm stupid. Wait, no, no, no. What am I doing? I should do that here. A posture check. Ah, uh, SQL light for me. What Mono said. Wait, what? So SQL. <laughs> I feel like I'm the only person who says SQL. Like everybody else I know says SQL. <laughs> Squid light, nice. That would be fun. Paranoid, I think you just did that on purpose. So... I have an idea. This isn't... What if I just do this, and then... And then I can just have one return statement. Because then I say return item plus rarity. Control all elder format. That's true. You can do that. Too late. <laughs> I like doing stuff the hard way. Actually, the okay, here's my problem with control L, right? Take take a close look at this. Right here. Control all L. I don't like that. I don't know why, I just don't. That's perfect. <laughs> I'm a monster and I, I like this to be on its own line. You don't have to like it. <laughs> if you don't like it, whatever. 200% love it. But not the starting brace? No, because I'm a monster. <laughs> yeah, some people do this. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Undead cat, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. <laughs> With two space in them. This is not HTML. Um, and then the other thing that I need to do is, before I return, add the item to the inventory. And Akadine? Akadin? Thanks for the follow, I appreciate it. Two spaces is fine as long as you're consistent. Like, <laughs> okay, can we can we agree to all hate people who indent with the actual tab character? <laughs> That's just 
that's just, that's actually monstrous. Um, so theoretically, adds the specified What am I... How often am I doing this? Ever heard of switch case constructs? Just like switch in Java? Yes. Hey, Joey Grooves. Thanks for the follow. Can we all agree that Vim better than Emacs? Or are we not ready for that convo yet? I don't know. Found you in the recommend recommended. I've been lurking for a bit, loving the vibe, so I had to follow. Thank you. I really appreciate that. That like genuinely, that means a lot to me. I'm glad that you like the vibes. Also, I love lurkers. Feel free to lurk. <laughs> Rather use a real text editor. I mean, <laughs> I don't have. I don't use Vim. And I have very limited experience with Emacs, so I'm not going to weigh in on this one. <laughs> okay, so every time the shiny command runs, we we do this. Okay. I have, I think this is gonna break. DOS edit.com <laughs> interesting interesting um yeah as a specified item to the users in in the which is a text file Yeah, uh, the item to add. Okay. Well. <laughs> yeah, I could be. I could be spending time configuring my text editor. <laughs> okay. Let's stop and rerun. Are you guys ready? Did it break? Did it break? Yeah, it did. <laughs> Must confess. Use the Vim Keybinds plugin. Wow. For IntelliJ. I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, so this definitely didn't work. Did it create? No. So here's my question. Does this still work? Okay. So so here's the, the one good thing, right? I, it, the, the whole bot doesn't crash. It does continue, like other commands will work. <laughs> Do you use NeoVim for most things? That's fair. So cannot invoke, because this dot writer is null. So the writer itself was null? Alright, let's just load the script configurations. Also, I don't need these anymore. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, no, my computer fan is, is, it's going a little crazy. Can I invoke dot append? Because this is null.
So coming from parse command, 85. Yeah, the, the stuff's a little off. So it's coming from get rarity an item, add to inventory, path slash file name, try absolute path, um, true. Where are, you, where are you guys seeing file not found? Oh, right here. Uh, I'm blind. <laughs> Did you really just do shell ID? <laughs> um. Okay, is the lighting like really messed up because of the sun? Um, a little. It's fine. I'm just gonna have a little bit of a glow. <laughs> okay, so probably file path. What the heck? Right? Hmm. <laughs> I love this. Java makes me so hype. Java memory usage makes me so sad. <laughs> oh. Right, right, right. I do need to fix that. So now the real question is, hey, we've got we've got files. <laughs> Yo, hey, hydrate too. I'll do it in one second. So I I hate file paths. They're so annoying. Okay, ship it. <laughs> That's why I only do Java in Office. Fair. So if we stop and rerun. So what did I get the first time? Uh oh. So we have files, but there's nothing in the file. We have files. You should use a class, use class loader and get resource as stream instead of file. True. I love null pointer exception epic. <laughs> Best item. Honestly, I should. Also, aren't those supposed to be common? Aren't, isn't a null pointer exception common? Oh, that's why. <laughs> I never changed this. We're, we're only getting common items, boys. I'm just an empty file. Well, all right, rerun. Yeah, it's because I copied and pasted like an idiot. Mythic first try. Dang, semicolon. Coffee is actually epic. JDK 
1k 1.8 I think so huh why did that not work oh it just took a hot second is it above yeah I think so so I mean everyone's got a file there's just nothing in them <laughs> Aww. So... So it's definitely... Hmm. I definitely could do resource as stream instead of can you write using a stream input stream uh why are there so many so many ways to do stuff with files in java it's like there's buffered writer. Print writer. File output stream for binary. Data output stream. Random access file. File channel. Files. You can just do files.write. Wait, really? You can just do... Mm. Oh, that's not it. That doesn't do what I thought it did. But you can do files.write path. But can you do append? I don't think so. I don't know. It will become important when you gotta run your program as a jar. The paths will not work. Why would I have to run my program as a jar? <laughs> Just abandon it and use SQLite. One file per user is gonna be something. True. File open doesn't have an append mode. I don't know. I mean, what we, what we could do is we can try This will need what? It needs a writer. So this thing just takes a file writer? Well, that's stupid. What's the difference? It's just buffered. 
That's the only difference, I guess. A simple way of using file input output stream. So, so I would need an output stream. So a file output stream? Or buffered or print? Uh, but how do you tie the, how do you tie the output stream to the file? Can you tell that I don't do this often? I do not work with files much in Java. Mm -hmm. For writing character-oriented data, file writer is more preferred. But this, it's like it takes a it takes a stream of bytes. Hmm. Just create file output stream print writer based on the file ref you have. No one likes working with file IO. Fair. <laughs> what is the chatbot used for? Uh, it is for this stream. You can convert to string. You can convert string to byte array. I mean, yes. But like... did right. So like, why? <laughs> and the immediate flood of shinies. So why wasn't writer working? I confusion. I big confused. What else is new, honestly? Ugh, you forgot the you forgot the exclamation mark. 
So, paintbrush. Anybody? Eh. Uh, right. Uh huh. Scammed out of my coffee. The other thing I forgot is. New line. Is there a right line method? Of course not. I guess I could do this. It seems ugly though. Oh. Append it first. I think after is fine. <laughs> African scam call. Thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. <laughs> Oops. Okay, wait. Uh, uh, I like street. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Game Boy Classic from Paranoid. Huh? Why, why are we getting space? The other thing I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to like delete all these. Hmm. I could like. Hmm. <laughs> More shiny. Don't get too attached to your inventory right now because. This is probably gonna all be deleted. <laughs> Try print writer? What's the difference between print stream and print writer? Well, one is a stream. So, this is an output stream. Okay, let me try this for a second. Print stream out. So what does it take? So it takes an output stream. Or a file. And then can I do... So out dot print line. Can I give it a string? Yes. Oh wait, I don't need the new line because it's print line. Okay, let me start over. Okay. Relaunch? Okay. Um, okay, it is actually updating. Okay, okay. Let 
It's overwriting. It's not appending though. Because I had, so rubber duck, but now I have null pointer exception. Also, not crimes. So sorry, I, I kind of missed it, but thank you for the follow. I appreciate it a lot. Switch to append. How? Print line. Oh. Okay, but then I need, then I need to add the new line. Run. Is there no way to open the file in append mode? Yeah. There so there there was with um with file output stream, there was. And it was in append mode. But with this, there's not. Mm. I think it's still overwriting. Hmm. Are you creating a new file every time? So it should only it should only be creating the file if the file doesn't with the same name doesn't already exist. So automatically creates a new empty file named by the path name if and only if a file with this name does not yet exist. Let me try. What was the other one? Print writer? Yeah, it should. Okay, so let's rerun with print writer. It says it has the same method. Legendary. Oh, now there's just nothing. Now absolutely nothing is being written. Okay. So Wait, I have an idea. Is there a flush method? I bet you that's the problem. Hey! Uh, Yash... Saxena9? Sorry for butchering your name, but hello! What Java version? Um, I'm honestly not sure. It's probably... 19. There you go. 
Uh, thank you, Adrian. I appreciate that. We got Monstera. Hmm. Mine is OCD. Yash is my first name. Okay, good to know. So it's still not appending. So we are still always writing to the beginning of the file. Yes. Which is really annoying because it's append. <laughs> we're only appending to the buffer we're writing to the file. So you actually do need to, you're telling me that, so append doesn't matter if the file, oh my god, that's not what I wanted. See, but it doesn't give me an option to, to open in append mode. It just gives me... Um, hmm. Also, Yash, thank you for the uh, follow. I really appreciate that. Interesting. Only appending, only appending to the buffer we're writing to the file. I don't know. Is that what it's doing? It's not appending to the file, it's appending the buffer? I don't know. Uh, you are working on Twitchbot Twitch, Java, and Java. Is it going to be uh, GUI? Why Java? Interested in the game? The game? Um. <laughs> Damn, already prepared with the why Java. <laughs> yeah. I get the question a lot. <laughs> um. Uh, I don't think there's going to be any GUI. It's. It's more for personal use. Um, if somebody wanted to use it, they could like clone the GitHub repo and that would be fine. But I'm assuming that only somebody who like knows some programming stuff is going to use it. So they can just edit the code. Um, why Java? Um, I felt like it. <laughs> uh, it's the language I would say I have the most experience in. So that's typically why I do it. Um, I don't think there's any particular game. In fact, this would be way easier in something like Python. So choosing Java was kind of a bad choice. But my sunk cost fallacy prevents me from switching to Python because I've already sunk so much time in this, into doing this. <laughs> I 
Actually, there's no reason to use buffered writer versus print writer. Print writer is the same. I already appreciate not using not using Python. Readability is decent, yeah. Python wouldn't have taught you much of anything though. That's a fair point. I would not be learning as much for sure. Let me think. So we're appending to the buffer, which is then being written. It's then the buffer is then being flushed, and then we're appending to the buffer again, but the buffer is empty because it does not include the file. So that's why we're getting stuff that's overwritten. I think. Try this, maybe. Just maybe. Yo, Adrian with the mythic thicky note. Hey! We have a pending baby. <laughs> nice. Okay. And I think mine worked. <laughs> nice. Yeah, Adrian, you actually, that was the exact problem. I didn't understand what you're trying to say at first. That's why I was so confused. I was like, what do you mean, appending to the buffer? <laughs> like, but no, you were right. Um, wow. Okay. Well. It technically works. It's not what I wanted. <laughs> but it works. Looks like the slash user should be added to get ignore. Probably. <laughs> oh yeah. Mm. Actually, how do you add? What is it? It's. Um, right? That's how you do it? Is that what I want? I think. since it's already there. Mm -mm. Well, I know that you can at least do this. So I want source slash resources slash users slash all, right? Source slash resources slash users. Okay. Nice. <laughs> Dot files. Okay, they're still here, which I'll figure it out in a minute. It's fine. Have you customized IntelliJ? It looks different. Um, I, the theme, I have a custom theme. It's, um, Cappuccine Mocha. But other than that, it's just the, the newer UI on IntelliJ. 
which you can enable in settings. Settings, appearance and behavior, new UI, and then just hit enable. So, uh oh. Oh, because I, duh, I hit restore. I said restore. Discard changes, not remove. I'm stupid. That's right. Get restored as staged. Hey, Captain Coder. Hello. Happy Friday. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, the UI buttons and spacing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's the new UI. Hope you're doing well. Thank you. I am doing pretty well. Um, hopefully you are awesome. Resources slash users slash all. Of course. There we go. Now they're actually removed from Git. There we go. Of course. Okay. Doing fantastic prepping for classes. Sounds good. Bro, the sun, it really do be getting warm. I'm no longer using this. Create view file is ignored as fine. Uh, Nani nine six four. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. I don't need this. Um. Do I need writer dot plush? I guess so. reason to use print writer instead of file writer? Because I think I was using file writer before and I was like, oh, it's not working, but that's because I wasn't flushing the stream. Uh, do regular Twitch slash commands come through IRC slash WebSocket? That's a great question. I think they are recorded as events so let's find out um what's a message I can do Wow, there's a lot more of these than I thought. I can do this. I can do announce. Yeah, announce is a good one. Um, testing. So it comes through as mod announcement event. It's 
So it's probably like mod pull event, mod whatever event. Twitch 4J might even tell you. If I can spell it right. Events. Mm -hmm. Um, I guess not. They really only talk about channel message events on here. But yes. Um, what was I doing? I guess this was the reason why, because PrintWriter was dealing with exceptions for me? Kind of. So out of curiosity, rerun. It's definitely working. Yo, Thicky you know. Yeah, it's working. I might leave it at that now. It should be fine. Um Okay. Let's write some notes. This might be kind of stupid, but this will be useful for me. Hmm. Thoughts. So, also ready for keyboard ASMR? <laughs> so here's the thing. Text files suck. Please with a lightweight database, maybe. And we were thinking SQL light, maybe H2. And then, hmm, uh, Organic, maybe. Thanks for the follow, I really appreciate it. No noted email, yeah. I need- I have so many emote ideas, I don't have any open slots. Um, so deployment, maybe at some point in the future, if, if I wanted. I don't think it's necessary, but I really could. Um, AWS render. Um, <laughs> Seven TV for the win. Oh, that's a the noted noted is in there. I could probably add it to the channel if it's not already. Uh, BT. Actually, no. It's Seven TV is the. Emotes, search, noted. Is it, which one is it? There's like a bajillion. I like that this one is funny. We should get, we should get noted. <laughs> I don't know if that's the one that you were thinking of, but I think it's funny. I love me a good Spongebob reference. Oh, hell yeah, we're adding this. I'm getting so distracted right now. I'm like, I need to add emotes. <laughs> um, any other ones? Okay. Oh wait, wh where's Plink? There's Plunk. 
Uh, here it is. Use emote. There we go. Okay. We good now. <laughs> Can we add plank? Yeah, I'm adding plank. <laughs> We're so derailed right now. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, are you? Do you guys see when I add the emotes? Cause like it's giving me like Shari makes our added plink. I don't know if everyone is seeing that or not. Oh, <laughs> but I'm just adding emotes. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, everyone sees that. Okay. Uh, what was I doing? Yeah, text file sucks. Replace with a lightweight database. SQLite maybe deployment. Um, make item a class. I could also use hash map to keep track of repeated items. Um, what else? Eventually, I will have to integrate this with the inventory command. Because, I mean, I guess that will just interface, it'll just interface with the database. Because, yeah. It'll just interface with the database so that it can pull from the user's list of items. I don't know. Marley Colt, thanks for the follow. I really appreciate that. Hmm. Okay. Oh, also, I totally realized I just missed which OBS do you use? Um, OBS Studio. Is there anything else? I think that's that's it. It's just OBS Studio. The uh, the overlay is one that I made. I think that's it. I don't really want to start anything new right now because I'm thinking that if I start anything new, um. I'm gonna get halfway through and then have to go to class and it's gonna suck. Really quickly, let me see if I can... What if I... Source slash me. So, will this work? Anytime, very motivational, getting ready to do a software engineering apprenticeship. Ooh, congratulations. That's actually really exciting. I hope it goes really well for you. Also, Alpha Alpha 11. Thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. Okay. Yo, Toxic Toast with the sticky note doodle. I like it. Jumping doggos. I will do my best. So is this working? Yeah, it's still working. Okay. Okay, cool. I just wanted to make sure that that was working. All right, sticky note doodle. Save this one from this new. Four. Toxic toast, capital T's. Today is 10. 13, 23. Um, let me look up a reference photo. Oh yeah. Now this, this is art. <laughs> um, 
find a good photo. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, give me a few minutes. Oh, this is a good song. It's kind of quiet though. Or maybe the other songs are just loud. Yes, more people joining in on the shiny. <laughs> By the way, if anybody's like, why is the command called shiny? That doesn't make any sense. Um, you're right. The command used to do something very different, and the name made more sense. But I'm keeping the name because I think it's fun. And the other thing is, um, imagine that it's like you are, you're a, you're like a raven, or like a crow, and you like collecting shiny objects. It's like. Give me, give me shiny object. It might not actually be shiny, but... <laughs> but it's just some object that you, that you would enjoy. Or a magpie. <laughs> there you go. I've drawn the doggo a little too big. He's kind of gonna go off the page a little. But that's okay. He's fine. I was thinking of a goblin. They make sense to me. That also works. That's another good way of thinking about it. Sorry, my watch, that's by the way, that sound is my watch hitting my desk. I know that it's like really loud on the mic for some reason. I try to avoid it, but sometimes I forget. <laughs> we draw on doggo. It's coming, it's coming together. I promise. Um, okay, this leg looks a little weird, I won't lie. He's got some skinny back legs. Don't worry about it. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> you guys like saw each other at like the McDonald's or something and it's like, hey, nice to see you. It's like, no, nice to see you. No. Nice to see you. I was having an argument over like politeness. <laughs> the pleasure is all mine. The perfect response. That's like 20 damage right there. You guys are either Southern or from Canada. <laughs> Just joking, obviously. <laughs> uh, what have I gotten myself into? Drawings coming together, I promise. And then we're gonna raid Kid Billy, guys. Um, I think I'm... I'm done with the coding for today. I do have to get ready for class and I need, I think the next step for me is to do some research off stream. <laughs> oh no, I don't like those emotes. <laughs> but yeah, the next step is for me to do some, some research off stream on database stuff. I'm taking a database class, so it's like, should probably know how to like use the database, maybe. 
But we haven't done any application stuff yet. It's all been theory. Okay. I think we're good. What class are you getting ready for? Um, today it is Principles of Programming Languages, which is a, it's my school's compiler class. So we're building a lexer, a parser, and then an interpreter actually. Um, here you go, Toxic Toast. Uh, eh. He be jumping. There you go. He's a cute doggo. E. Okay. There you go. Uh, okay. We'll be saved forever. <laughs> she really makes art. <laughs> I know, the name actually is appropriate. Thank you guys. Building your own interpreter from scratch? Um, I don't know yet. We haven't... We haven't, um started the interpreter yet we're just finishing up the parser right now um but it's for awk um so we're, we're using java to build a lexer and parser for awk which if you have never seen awk before it's like a it's kind of like a text manipulation language mostly command line based um it's kind of neat but it's a pretty small language so it's not you know we're not like making an interpreter for like Python or something. Um, but yes, B tree indexing versus hash indexing times. That's like way over my head. <laughs> but all right, guys, I am going to end here. Thank you all for joining me. Um, let's raid Kid Billy, who should be live. Yes. Start raid. Okay. Um, Nahin X13, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. If you are not already part of the Discord and you are interested in it, um, there's a link down below. I also have a YouTube VOD channel if that's something you're interested in. Um, but other than that, I hope everyone has a wonderful day. Be nice to Kid Billy, and I will see you guys next week. <laughs>